All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to another Edith Noble video. And in this week's video, I'm going to be doing an easy 3D lettering tutorial. And 3D letters can be pretty hard for like everybody, unless you're like a pro artist. And so I am not saying that I'm the best at them, but these are th some things that help me um, do them better. And I love fonts and lettering, so let's get into it. Okay, so first, a big thing of 3D lettering is the actual block letters themselves, not just the backdrop shadow thing. So first, let's focus on the block letters. What you want to do to make them look a lot better is make all of the thicknesses of the line. You want to keep those all the same width and it doesn't matter what they are, one inch, two inches, depends on how big of a scale you're doing. For this, I think I did one inch. Um, and it just really helps it to look more uniform and a lot better in general. Okay, so the second thing to make your 3D letters look better is to choose a source of light. And I mean, you don't have to choose if it's the sun or a light bulb. You just have to choose where the light is coming from. It can be from the upper left hand corner or the bottom right. It doesn't matter where, you just have to choose a place where the light's coming from so that you know where to put your shadows from and typically your shadow lines go opposite of the light source and it looks better if you keep the like where the light source is coming from and where the shadows are coming from the same for all the letters in whatever you're doing so the third thing is you always want to draw with a ruler and i know this sounds really basic but it really helps and it really just makes it look a lot better if all the lines are straight and you also want to keep all of your lines parallel because if they're not parallel then it'll just look jagged and more like graffiti more than just 3d block letters and whenever you are drawing the shadow lines and i'm just calling them shadow lines because i don't know what they're actually called but whenever you're drawing the shadow lines you want to keep those all the same length so that it just all looks better and all the lines can be parallel and stay together. Okay, so for shading, there are a lot of different ways to do this, but the way that makes it look the best is whenever you shade from, like in the spaces of the sides of the letter and the shadowing of the letter, that the light source potentially, if it was there, couldn't reach. So like, if the light source is in the upper right hand corner then you probably want to shadow more on the left side of your paper or wherever if there was say a little sun there wherever the rays would not reach and wherever would be in shadow and all of those lines will typically be the same like side if that makes sense and all the like parallel lines that you made earlier will probably all be shaded together so I know of three main ways to shade and I know that I wrote two below but there are three ways to color in your shading and the first one is super simple it's just color it a solid color or whatever um, and that's just super easy and probably the most well known. The second is to do stripes because if you just do super thin stripes all together squished it just I feel like it just looks like a shadow and it looks pretty nice and the third is to do dots and dots um it's more like pointillism i think that's the word i think but yeah dots just makes it look cool if that makes sense yeah so hopefully now you have your finished block letter and i tried to go through all the steps that i know of i kind of just made this up myself because these are the things that help me draw 3d block letters so i hope you enjoyed this if you want to like tag me if you recreated this, that's really cool. Just tag Edith Noble Design on Instagram and I will put you on my story. Not that that really reaches too many people, but if you want me to see it, then you can tag me. I hope you love this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more things like this coming soon. So I'll see you next video. Bye.